This video will focus on what is a net. We will also look at different types of nets to determine what shape it can make or whether it can make even a three-dimensional shape or not. So first of all, let's talk about what is a net. Now, the mathematical term for a net is that it is a geometry net. It is a two-dimensional shape that can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape or a solid. Or a net is a pattern made when the surface of a three-dimensional figure is laid out flat showing each face of the figure. A solid may have different nets. That's from onlinemathlearning.com. Another definition is that it's a pattern that can cut and fold to make a model of a solid shape, which is from mathisfun.com. So let's look at some examples of some nets. So see here, you can see four different examples of nets. You can see some triangles and some rectangles and some squares. So those are your two dimensional shapes. And when you fold these up, you will determine will they make a three-dimensional shape or will they not? The three-dimensional shapes that we could look at making could be something like this, or it could be something like this. So let's talk about the difference between these two types. So first we're gonna talk about a pyramid, okay? A pyramid is a polyhedron, which is a three-dimensional shape that has a base, which can be any polygon, and three or more triangular faces that meet at a point called the apex. So you can see here that pyramids go up, form an, a point, meet and form a point or an apex, and it's connected with triangular faces. Now the base can be different things. Remember it says that the base can be any polygon. So the base here is a square, and the base here is a triangle. Now you can see the points that go up to a point, the shapes that go to a point are all triangles and even the base here. So here's an example of a pyramid. You can see it goes to the point. It's got triangular faces. And for this one, the base is actually a triangle, but it could be a square. It could be a hexagon. It could be anything. All right. So let's remember pyramids go to a point, an apex. And then let's look at a prism. Okay. A prism is a three-dimensional shape with two identical shapes facing each other. These identical shapes are called bases. The bases can be a triangle, a square, a rectangle, or any other, other polygon. Other faces of a prism are parallelograms or rectangles, okay? So, this is also a picture of a uh, three-dimensional prism. You can see the base here. Remember it said that the base could be anything from a triangle. The bases can be a triangle, a square, a rectangle, or any other polygon. So it could be a hexagon, it could be an octagon. And then the other faces, which would be here, are rectangles or parallelograms. And remember the difference between a rectangle and a parallelogram is that rectangles have um, 90 degree angles where parallelograms do not. So you can see this is the two bases are squares and it's connected with rectangles and the two bases are triangles and it's connected with rectangles. Okay, so let's keep that in mind as we move forward. All right, so like we said, these are all examples of nets. So what we're going to do now is we are going to look at some nets and we are going to try to determine if these nets if these form one of the shapes that we have. All right, so here is a net, and I want you to stop and think. If I were to fold along these lines here, fold it up, would that make, what shape would that make? Would it make, remember, would it make a pyramid that goes to a point, or would it make a prism, all right, which is connected with rectangles? So take a minute and think. All right, so you should say that it would make a pyramid, okay? So if I were to fold this up, this is the same shape. If I were to fold these up, you can see that these would all come together and make a point. So this would make a pyramid, okay? A triangular pyramid because the base is a triangle and then it's connected with all these triangles. So, if you guess that, good. 
sometimes they won't exactly make the shape. We may run into those in just a minute. All right, so let's look at another one. We've got this one right here, okay? Now, I want you to look at it, and I want you to imagine that if we fold across these lines here, will it make either a prism or a pyramid? Remember, pyramids go to a point. Prisms are connected with rectangles. Pyramids are connected with triangles. All right, so if we were to fold it up, and would it be kind of closed up? So here we go. We have this here and folded it along these lines. And you can see actually we have, it does make, okay? So that works and it makes a pyramid again. All right, so it looks a little bit different than this other one but they both made pyramids. So there's not only one way that the, uh, the net can look. All right, now let's look at another one. I want you to think about, would this make a pyramid or would it make a prism? So think about if we were to fold it up along these lines, what do you think it would make? And you are correct. If I take this same one here, and I fold it up, it will make a pyramid. Yep, my base this time though is a square, okay? So this is just called a regular pyramid. When you have a triangle as your base, like this one, it's called a triangular pyramid. All right, I bet we're doing a great job. Now let's look at some more. All right, so here we have another one. I want you to think about if we were to fold this, you can see we have rectangles here. So would that make a pyramid or a prism? Let's take a minute and look at it. All right, so same thing here. All right, and if we fold it up, and you can see that it would make a prism because it's connected with rectangles. There are rectangles as the bases and then it's connected with rectangles all around and it would close up. So yes, that does make a prism. All right, and that is a rectangular prism. So let's look at another one. Here's another one. Look at it. Think about would it make a pyramid or a prism and think about would it make um, you know, a polyhedron. Let's take a second and think about it. All right. So if you said no, you are correct. It would not make a uh, prism because the issue would be that these two sides, these two uh, faces here would latch, would kind of copy over, fall over each other, and you wouldn't have anything to close it up on this end. So it would not, it would not be a net for a rectangular uh here, prism, sorry, rectangular prism. All right, remember pyramids go to a point. They're made with triangles, connect with triangles, and prisms are connected with rectangles. All right, we only have two more. Let's look at this one. All right, I want you to, talk, to think about would it make a prism or, I'm sorry, a pyramid or a prism, and would it make a complete net for that one? All right. So let's look, this was the exact one here. Okay, that was it. So if I fold it up, you can see that it's connected with rectangles and I've got my bases as a triangle and that's a right triangle there. See, I've got my right angle, that's a right angle there. So that's a right triangular prism connected with rectangles. All right, and let's look at one more. Now we want to look and think about, will this create either a prism, I'm sorry, pyramid or prism? Pyramids go to a point, prisms are connected with rectangles. All right, if you look, here is that one kind of laid out right here. If I fold it up, 
I actually end up with an extra one here, okay? I had two mini faces, all right? I only need three because my bases are triangles, so this would not form a um, net. I've got too many faces here. This would overlap this one, all right? So once again, remember a net is a geometry, when we're talking about a net for geometry, it's a two-dimensional two shape that can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape. So we looked at some examples, and remember we're focusing too on the difference of a pyramid and a prism. It's a pyramid if it has an apex, if it goes to a point connected with triangles, and it is a prism if it's connected with rectangles. And remember your bases can be any type of shape. All right, now you'll get to practice them on your own.